rivals going into the result well, tree. That's probably going to be top lane rise from Cuve to try to dunk on it. It's actually Keen and Cuve on some pretty trademarks to Swain, one of my favorite Swain lanes, is that wasn't the headbutt uh, he wanted. Yeah, now he's going to be engaged upon here. Gets the ground pound in. The Ignite coming down onto Ruler. Here comes Spirit. There it is. The flash on in. And the Trundle gets the press of the attack. Oh, oh. will do it. And there it is. The flash forward. First blood goes to aiming. Level two for so many members, but here's Fly from the mid lane. Level three to Leah. Huge knockup from Tushin, but the flash forward and the kill on the Spirit on the back foot. That's going to be a huge turnaround as the double kill goes to Gen G. Three for one. Gang coming on in. It's going to start. Start with that, and there's the follow-up. Can pull him back as easy as you'd like. Gets the streak too, 450 gold. Anyway, so they're playing it extremely safe. They're looking for the top side actually on a keen. Here's the Shen two just to add to it, and there it is. Keen not even gonna flash. Knew he was dead. They won. Genji are gonna probably be confident to go slow and steady as always. Here we go. Loving to engage, but Ruler gonna take a lot of damage. The TP coming on in, and Ruler is so low in the backside. Oh. The Demon Flare nearly gets him. The flash on in, and the final zap to the face will get him. But Kuve's here. Stopwatch is gonna be perfect for aiming to keep him alive. There's the taunt, though. And Talia doing so much damage, but it's not enough. Actually, the rise is gonna go down here. Kuro gonna get low, and they finally take him out. And aiming somehow is still alive. No more stopwatch this time around, and he will get him, but a huge play in the bottom side from both teams, and finally they'll take out Spirit 2. That is going to be a 3 for 3, it looks like, in the bottom side teams where I notice it the most. They have so much control. Speaking of which, they're just going to bully Keen, actually, in the top side. There's the Shen 2, and as easy as you'd like, they get another kill onto the gangplank as hopeless as possible. Side, we'll get a kill, we'll get a turret, and we'll get the Rift Herald. So in terms of trades, they're able to pick up the first turret blood, the first brick, as we call it in Korea. That Baron damage, the mountain will be very good for them if they can get a lead on the blue side. Side lanes and team to her kit. And so they're looking for this top lane turret. They're going to be able to get it. The question is what happens next as Gen G are all lying in wait. So many people setting up. This LeBlanc has much more of a role than the previous LeBlanc. They need to stick around in order to get the full burst rotation down. So when we see level Line, six, he's been looking to go for other lane ganks, and here he is once again with the rest of the team. The Trundle's here, though, and Ambition gets super low. Keen's still alive. It's going to finally die on the back foot, but Fly jumping on in, too, will be punished, and that goes the opposite way. Ruler all alone, side, but he decides, I cannot hold this alone, so he's just going to let that big wave push in with the rise. Let them go. We'll see if the damage coming down. They decide to just go ahead and take the mountain drink with no pressure. That's going to be their second of the game. Really good for Afrika. Definitely helped. So the Banshee Veil probably going to be in the position of that earlier Morella Nomicon on Swain. I think it's probably a good read if the comp is in and the comp. But at three or four, they have the ability to take Baron. They have the ability to see. They can close the game. That's the risk you make as Ambition. Ambition decides he's just going to give away his life as well. They weren't sure, but he's hiding. He's a very sneaky cow from behind. They don't know he's there. They only know now. Okay, gonna try to get onto the back line. It's gonna miss the knockup. There it is, finally onto Cuve though, and the Baron is gonna go their way as well as the kill onto Cuve. Looking to push forward onto Fly, and oh boy, the wall is gonna be interrupted. Keen on the back line is gonna survive with all of that health from the Sterix. So an extra two kills in the Baron, not half bad for Afrika. Gen G were trying to lose the minimum as Ruler got items, but Ambition's mistake being caught is really going to heat pain on them. They're trying to 5v5 with a tank virus. It doesn't work. Yep. Kuro starts to zone, and this inner turret in mid lane is going down. I think I know who we're going to be seeing, sir. Also a big pick for him, and you guys can see exactly why. He knows exactly how to play it. It was so clean. Headbutting in the rise, gets the double pulverize, waits to hit on his E to finish off the rise, and here he comes again with the flash onto the rise. He's going to knock him up. Nowhere for Cuba to go. He just blows up in the back line, and now aiming and Spirit and Keen, they're all so tanky. They're going to push everybody away from the inner turret. What are you going to do against this cow? Righteous Glory, Ghost, Flash, everything used. Oh, boy. Potete almost accidentally dies. Here comes Kuro again. He hasn't been the star of the game on his own uh, LeBlanc here, but he's trying to do that damage on the back foot. It's really just been an awesome team game here from Afrika. Tucson doing his job for the engage. Their first inhibitor. And Ruler can't even walk up to wave clear. Again, the build, he's gone Hurricane as the third item. 
He just wants to free auto. Make if them work. So unfortunately, this game, the ability he had to go for in the circumstances. He's getting really far behind and a nice engage once again. Oh, where did the Talia go? Didn't even see her on the map there as Kuro finally gets the chance to shine. Take a look at Ruler who's still alive in here. He's going to kill the Swain on the backside. Finally able to get that Bowman, but the rest of his team has fallen around behind him. That was the sort of fight the Varus needs, but unfortunately his front line goes down around it. Here's Kuro uh, trying to get the kill, but he misses the leash and Ruler says, what are you doing, man? Get the the hell away from me. And that means with the Rise Realm Warping behind them, they're going to be in a bad spot here. Core JT with the dodge field just to make things uh, go for a little bit here. Keen's still trying to go 1v3. He's going to flash. So much action happened earlier. There's, there's that threat that Ruler can never finish his IE. It's Core JJ. Okay, he's going to get really low. Decides to actually live on the backside. Has the locket completed. Help that scenario. Out. Yeah, I mean, you consider a Freaka if they get the Baron and you try to go in there and it loses, you fail the fight, you probably just lose the game, right? So instead of taking, they've been in this spot before, I think they're okay to let an inhibitor go down for now. And just weather the storm here. We're still 40 minutes in. They have a decent amount of weight. You notice Tucson is just waiting for that chance for someone to step forward. Once again, another inhibitor will go down with the big minion wave. And let's see if they decide to push in. The only ways they can move forward. Here we go, zoning under the turret. Yeah, they're trying to slow them down underneath the cannon barrage. It's going to be successful. Look at Ruler just in the back, not doing anything. Going to let this turret go down. Keen eating a bunch of damage, but he's that frontline gangplank. He's going to be able to get it back. And the bottom line is pushing as well. They're going to send Kivei down there. He clears out those waves so fast, but unfortunately, they just move away for one second. The wall is going to come down, though. The Chains of Corruption is coming in, but everything else missing. Going to engage on a core JJ here. Trying to get on to Cube too. Paranoia comes down, and the Trundle even is so tanky. Ambition goes in, and there it is! The first time he's taken two! All of a sudden, Cube and Ruler in the front. He's one of the ones who wants to get into range of the enemy. He walks in, and by the time anything oh. happens, he's almost dead. Is Genji on the Baron? Yeah, we're going to call that replay off. Ambition taking so much damage in his oh. GA. The heal comes in from Fly, actually, to keep him alive. But that's going to be the go button here, a huge pillar. But it looks like they will not commit to the fight. But lots of low members here on the side of Gen G. Afrika looking for that fight. The barrel's going to come through and delay their backs. And now it's Afrika's turn to go onto the Baron. This 44-minute Baron's a killer. 10,000 health being blown down pretty easily. But Genji gonna have to give it up. Very, very simple understanding of a freak. Well, the enemy jungler's got no health. This is our Baron. Second time, they've got the Baron. Resounding no from the side. The Weaver's Wall is gonna come in, just trying to get in range. They wanna get the steal on in here. Here's Ambition from downtown, and he cannot get the steal in the end. The big engage from Tucson on a three in the front line. Kuro is gonna burst down fly as well, and it looks like this is a huge fight for a freak of freaks. Ruler in the front line is finally gonna go down. But look at Cube in the backside doing the damage. Can he keep their hopes alive? This is a very fed rise, but it's four on one. And he is going to go down in the end. They finally get the team fight they were looking for. And it looks like a Freak of Freaks will win the game. They definitely will, Valdez. The Elder buff makes everyone a damage dealer. Spirit just wasting Core JJ's time. It took a long, long time. The trade of Baron for Elder. An inspired one by Gen G about eight minutes ago. This time around, though, they have to fight. They don't get the smite. And it will be a Freak of Freaks game one. Really t fantastic fight for them. I thought maybe Ambition was going to get that steal. It was going to be the most hype steal we've ever seen from downtown on that uh, Nocturne. But either way, guys, Afrika, they take game number one. Took 46 minutes, but they finally did it. They on the side of Afrika, this could be in multiple lanes. Kuro's played it in mid, and it's probably going to be against the, the uh, Galio, you'd imagine. So they'll just climb the ladder no matter where they are in the top five. I feel like they're currently the best. Tucson walking forward straight into it. Nearly dies before he can flash, but it's not going to matter. First blood before Spirit. Fantastic knockoff. Oh, baby. Kuro. And here we go. Unfortunately, level five Rakan is just going to disappear if the Yasuo can get the knockup. 
And they finally turn it around. Before about his positioning, but just a 15 second window, he wasn't there. They find the gank on the bottom side, and now they're going to turn who? it around onto the Leona. So much CC onto her, but she has a stopwatch. The TPs are coming in, and look at the mid lane. Going to go down there is the Galio, just eating way too much damage. Cubase here from the top side now. Keen getting a little bit too close. Yep. Isn't it? The Velkos having to back, and of course, did not have TP. Spirit thinking about it, but he'll think twice. Will not go. Oh boy. Oh, it's just barely going to miss. And the paranoia is already used here, but the TP response, they're looking for Tucson here. Fly is going to come on in, and there's the engage from Core JJ. Is going to take down Tucson on the backside. Tucson kind of baiting in the paranoia, but also gets caught out himself. It's definitely the baits there, like you mentioned. The moment Tucson missed, they pull away, they see the teleport. Aiming also has to keep some bounds on the side of the Rakan. See if Cuvee decides to go for an aggressive trade with his ultimate. For Cuvee in the laning trades a bit better. Tucson walks up, they want this. Okay, they really want to get that trundle, and there's that backline access with the laser coming in from Kuro. The double kill in Spirit is going to live, but the rest of Gen.G is going to show up. Here's Kane with his own teleport, and Kuro is just popping off on the Velkaz. Unbelievable, here's Kane and the Yasuo. Maybe this is the team fight they were looking for. Cubay is going to be researched, and there's that damage has to flash away. Just barely will get it out, but Ruler now trying to go 1v3 here. He gets the flash out of himself to try to get away. Oh, and there's the damage. Kuro nearly goes down from mid lane turret, but with not much of a wave behind this. And oh boy, okay, going to go 1v1 mm. down here out of the Trundle Spirit. He's feeling it. There's the flash forward from Keith, but Kube lives. But look at the frontline ambition. Gonna get pretty low here, and down he should go. Staying alive for a really long time. Cube still super low, but Tucson engaging a little bit too much. Ruler had a really good position over the front of the wall. Uh, River in the bottom side, end of the Drake down here. We'll go over to the Nocturne. Once again, a really, really close game so far. Five to five. The gold lead for Genji is only about one down. So if he is the guy to go in and just get focused down. He needs to have some kind of survivability to... Waiting for an early flash or cleanse from aiming. Him getting out with double summoners there was actually very tricky to do, so credit to him on escaping, but now we see... Point that Corte J actually took his own Knight's Vow second, and he put it on Ambition. They really want to keep this guy alive. Oh, that thought is Kuros is going to be caught out in a huge way. There's the engage. He goes down. He talked about who dies first. That's going to be two kills for the virus. Can you make it three? One Q would do it. Meanwhile, on the backside, Tucson goes down. A big mistake, and Gen G will run away with the fight. Base check from Kuro is going to be so costly. This could be Inhibitor and Baron. They're actually shouting. Who knows? They're going to try and push as much as they can. I mean, we're already here at 28 Could just minutes. be the end of the game. There's 30 seconds on four members. I think that's going to do it as one mistake like that. And I feel like the fans are dumbfounded. How did this happen? You can't really make mistakes like that in pro play because Gen.G, they're going to shove it down your throat. That will be game number two going over to the side of Gen.G in astounding fashion. There you go. Game ends. Aiming can do nothing. Just watch Son as Gen.G close the counter. A potential Mundo okay. pick. Okay. Well, QV says thank you very much. He's going to go back to the cannon. AD or AP is a consideration here. Going to get a couple of seconds help and maybe even hold on to the smite. No, nope, we'll use it right at the end. No marks, but like you say, a drake to show for the First early game. blood up here. No teleport from anyone else on Gen G and Cube in a ton of trouble here. He's going to try to ultimate on in, but down he will go eventually. There it is. He needs an extra turret shot. They just burn Lambs for spite just in case. But that will be first, Darius, and increase the pace of the game. Zoe. This is a really interesting play. It looks like Kuro's going to beat him in, and the cleanse comes in, but now Fly is on the run. Ambition's here with the pillar. Knocks him closer, actually. Fly forced to flash. Over. Here's Spirit, though. Hold the thought. Shen coming on in. The Lancer's fight is not there. And down he goes, go. TP's coming in, and now it's Spirit's turn. They're trying to turn it away. Oh, the oh! snipe from downtown. Ruler says, I'm part of the fight, too. Hello, here's my arrow to the face, and that's three kills to Gen G. The punishment is so insanely large on the side of Rick Rick's three deaths. This will be the mid lane <laughs> turret as well. They were in control of the game. That control's gone. Oh man, that was just a crazy series of events from downtown rulers. 
Oh boy, he is going to get the smite on in to get the full health, but Exhaust comes down. There's the flash. Has Orianna near him, though, to help him out. Red buff even goes over to the Trundle, so not half bad. Take over this game. They'll be looking for their third turret, actually. Three to zero in terms of turrets to the side. Very high variance champion in team fight. If the shockwave hits three, you can shout about it. If it misses, you can criticize. The skill expression on Orianna is very... Here's another a Freak of Freaks member that loves hiding in the bush. And Ruler might be in a bit of trouble here. Not even going to go for that one. Is going to flash over the wall. And Aiming looking to go in, but Ruler trying to turn it around is not able to in the end. And Aiming. Cuvay going for the Rage Blade. He's building completely for lane and saying, I'm going to keep Darius. Testing open. this. Getting ambition would be fantastic to start this off. Really awkward spot for him. Is going to flash. Oh, but there you go. Trying to go in here. Is Keen is going to get knocked up in a huge shockwave into the back line. Here's Cuvay, too. Going to stun everybody up. But the Lazarus fight is good. And look at the Darius on the front line doing huge amount of damage. Ruler, though, is kiting everybody. Nearly takes out Kuro. Is not able to in the end, but Afrika able to win the fight a fantastic. Only two marks have been completed as we now see him a, a camp further up marked. Genji onto the mountain drake. Trying to hop over the wall there with Spirit is not going to get the smite as it goes over to Kennen. Oh, look at this, the flank though, five members coming on in, but they get the damage onto the Darius, he can't do anything. Aiming is going to go into it and give his life away. Tushin as well, everybody baited into that flank. Does not work out, and Gen Z get the second Mountain Drake, similar one to the fight previous to that one, but they give away a Mountain Drake, three kills, and the Baron, and so Gen Another bit of a mistake from Afrika. This is going to leave the coaches scratching their heads. And now all they can do is Rambo all in, 6,000 gold behind, into a team fight they probably don't win, because ball onto the Ash, and turret damage so easy as... All right, here we go. They the have flank to do coming it. in. They really want to get Ruler, but the Vladimir just disappears off the map, and Ruler is totally safe. A huge shockwave again, and Gen Z making a statement this time, saying, we are better than Afrika, and we deserve to be in second place. They're going to take the team fight and take the win. And Gen G are going to go 9-3 and join Griffin on the same match score. They're going to kill out on the Zoe. They're going to win, and it's well-deserved for Generation Gamers. Dominic here in game number three. That's all you can call it. Ruler and Court JT extending a high five to 